Hello, I have a math game to share with you today. It's called Equate, and it is a very addicting math game. It was created by a math professor in San Francisco years ago, and I remember seeing it in these little boutiques in the city, and I'm so glad that it's now widely available. So you can pick it up from rainbowresources.com. And it's played similar to Scrabble in that you have a board in which you place tiles with numbers and you try to build equations. And on the board, there are little icons that indicate whether your equation score will be doubled or tripled or whether your symbol score for a particular tile will be doubled or tripled. And those, um, that information's on the board. Also on the board are the all the tiles that come in the game and how many you get of each tile. So the one that I originally bought was the um, original tile set, but this one included a lot of fractions that ended up being a little bit too difficult for my kids and me to play. And so I just removed some of the more difficult fraction tiles from the game, and then we could just play much e more easily. But then recently I picked up the junior tile set, and that one has more simple fractions, and so it's great for, you, for younger students. So I'm going to show you some of these fraction tiles that we removed from the original um, set. And uh, on the little um, tile piece, there will be the number, or in this case, the fraction. And in the bottom right corner, there's a little number between 0 and I think 10, and that indicates the score for that tile. So this one is 2 thirds, and the score for this tile is 8. And you get these little plastic um, like trays to hold your tiles on when you're trying to shuffle them around and make equations, but I find it easier just to work on the table so we don't actually use these. And we don't hide our tiles from other players, I mean we just keep it on the table and shuffle them around. In fact, we actually help each other, so we're not, I mean, we're competitive but not to the point where we try to make the other person lose. We try to get the best scores for everybody. So it comes with directions and I usually find it easier to start playing the game with some really simple directions and then as you run into problems then you can refer to the directions. It's a little bit tedious to read it cover to cover. So I'm going to show you some of these tiles that come in the original set and these white e uh, equate signs don't have any um, value so you just pull them as you need them but you may only use one in each equation. And so it comes with a lot of whole numbers and the operation signs are addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division, but it also comes with fractions, and that's something that you kind of have to decide whether or not you're going to use when you play the game, because when we first started playing this game and we had all the fractions in it, it, it made the, the game too difficult for us to enjoy. By pulling them out, we were able to familiarize ourselves with the game and the rules and the strategy, and then later we could add in um, those fractions. So I'm just showing you what you can't do and you can't have an equation that you build onto it with another equal sign. However, you could have an equation and right here I have 8 plus 8 equals 16 as one play and then as another play you could add the um, addition sign and 3 on either end. So you want to start out by distributing 9 tiles per player and whoever draws the highest tile number um, will be the first player. And so my son, who's in eighth grade, um, is going first, and whoever goes first always doubles their score. The, there's a little icon on the board for, I think it says 2e, so that means double the whole equation score, which is a nice thing when you're first playing, because you, when, you're, when you're the second or third player, you have more um, options and so, you know, if you don't have a number or an operation sign, it might already be on the board. So we played for about an hour, and we didn't get too many equations on the board because this was our first time playing in a really long time. And it took us a while just to get just familiar with, you know, building equations. And it's not, it's not a difficult game to play. It just takes a little while because you're dealing with individual tiles that you can 
build larger numbers with. For instance, you, you might be able to take your 9 and your 2 and make 92, which I have on the board. But on the next play, you can't use 92 going in another direction because you'd only be able to use the 9 or the 2. And so in that way, it takes a little bit of a, a different way of thinking than if you were playing, for instance, Scrabble, in which you could potentially have two horizontal or two vertical lines um, touching in the same play. In this case, you really can't. Not, not the way that we've been playing, at least, unless there's some trick that I don't know about. <laughs> so I've just changed the camera angle so you can see how I'm trying to build an equation here while my son is doing um, his play. And we did take a long time for each play, but we enjoyed the game so much that even though it wasn't on our curriculum for the next day, my son was really excited to play again. Play again. So we did, and we played much better the second time around, and we got such higher scores that I think we will probably be playing this game every day um, this week, or maybe even for this unit of math that we're doing. And so... Uh, after a, a little while, not even that long, um, we started to be able to think about strategy and not just about making an equation. We started to think about how can I use more tiles in order to form this equation or how can I use some of the icons on the board in order to get a higher score. And that always adds a different um, element to the game, which we really love. So in this particular play, my son really wants to make use of this triple equation score that's all the way on the right side of the board. And he has some great tiles, but he just can't figure out how to get that triple equation score. And so I come in and I fiddle around with his tiles as well. And we're going to try to build an equation that makes use of that four on the left side, which was already part of a previous equation, and try to give him an equation that's long enough in order to get that triple equation score. And so it does take us a little while because we're fiddling around with all of his different um, tiles. And finally, we get something that works and he's thrilled. And so we both really enjoyed this game a lot. If you would like to see more of the math games that we play in our homeschool, please click the left side of your screen. And if you would like to see how we put together our unit study for math, click the right side of the screen. And if you're viewing this on a mobile device, you can check the description below because I will have links to those videos there. And as always, check out my website, pepperandpine.com. Okay, guys, thanks for watching.